three. All right, Shalom Akim, that's peace in the Hebrew, in the Lashwan Kadash. First of all, I want to give all praise to the Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Of course, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. I am a Makba from Great Millstone, Philadelphia, playing tables camp. And uh, I'm going to go over a wee lesson about uh, the latter times, all right, because we're in the last days right now. Last days actually start 2,000 years when Yahweh Shai, which y'all eagerly call Jesus Christ, walked the earth, all right? So this is, uh, this is, uh, this is going to be Matthew 24, because the disciples actually ask uh, Yahweh Shai, when, is the, when should they know when the, the last days is be? And it's going to go and say it, all right? Let's hit the scriptures. All right, this is uh, this is uh, Matthew 24 and 3. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, and, when, and shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world? All right, talking about the end of this world, all right? Because there is an end, all right? A lot of folks sat out here thinking that this, this is going to go on forever, and it's not. You saw the so-called white man, your kingdom is going to be over. It's gonna be bring the north, all right? And I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get them precepts, all right? So it goes on. It says, and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. All right, you got the Catholic Church, all right, which Catholic it means universal. You know, they got all most of the pagan worship in there. All right, a lot of y'all folks don't know the origins of all of what you do. All right, and the, the men of the true men of the Lord, we know we worship and we know what we do. All right, we we worship Yahweh Yahweh Shai. All right. You know, you, you, you got your pork chop eating pastors out there. That, you know, it knows in the scriptures that you ain't supposed to eat pork. And, and we've been given dietary laws. The Negroes, Latinos, Day Americans, which are the Israelites, given dietary laws, and you want to go off, all right? You'll be put to death, all right? It goes on and says, For many shall come in my name, saying I am Hamashiach, and, sh and shall deceive many, all right? You know, you're going to be having all these false prophets out here. You got all type of fucking false doctrines out here. All right? It goes on and says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Don't you hear rumors of wars? World War III and all of that. You got that on brink right now. All right? A lot of folks out here, they don't want to hear about World War III because they want to sit in and run a terminal market and do what? Eat pies and eat, and eat donuts and all of that and get fat. Well, guess what? This is all going to come to naught. All right? It goes on and says, um, uh, it says, see ye, see that ye be not troubled, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So even though there's rules of, rumors of wars and, and all of that, you got the conflict that's out there in North Korea and all of that. You got, you got all types of conflict over in the Middle East and all of that. That still got time that, you know, these prophecies still got to go through and, 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 and uh, continue on. All right, because this ain't the end yet, but we at the door. All right, it, end up, it says, it says uh, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. You got Donald Trump, got the EU. He, he, done, he, he, went, he withdrawn out of that. You got America withdrawn out of that. You got, what was uh, recently, uh, uh, we uh, just uh, got out of that Paris climate uh, control thing. All right, we just pulled out of that. All right, all of that's gonna gonna lead towards the, the collapse of the American dollar, or well, that fiat currency, them FRNs, which is the Federal Reserve notes, which is not backed by anything. All right, not by gold and nothing that. You got the elite bankers, which is the so-called white men under the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Duponts, Gettys, all of them. They all wicked, and they're gonna lead towards the demise. All of that. All right, so it goes on. It says, in earthquakes in diverse places, places, all of all these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my namesake. And the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. And you got the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh Shai. And they hate us, the prophets out here. You know, we say we come in that name. We're not coming in the name of Jesus Christ and all of that because that's not the true name. We're not coming in the name of Jehovah. We're not coming in the name of Yahweh. We're not coming in the name of uh, Jah. We're not coming in none of them names. We're coming in the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shot, all right, which is the true name under the heavens that were given onto the Israelites, which are Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, so like I said, we in the end, and we got the signs. All right, so we're going to go to the, the Apocrypha, which is part of the actual King James Bible, which is a part of the 1611 authorized version, which was taken out by the Bi Bi Bible instruction group and all of that all right so it goes on it says uh it says 
Behold, this is uh, Second Edris 16 and 19. Behold, famine, plague, tribulation, and anguish are sent as swords for amendment. But for all of these, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be mindful of their swords. All right, because, you know, you're going to have all of that that's going to come to break loose. You know, when the dollar collapses and all of that, you know, when the, and the, when the uh, market of beasts or the uh, RFID microchip be implemented, all right, when it's going to be a cashless society and all of that, y'all going to be assed out, all right? You ain't going to know what to do, all right? But half of y'all Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and y'all heathen are going to take the, the chip. Y'all going to be put, y'all going to be destroyed, all right? So it goes on, it says, uh, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. So a lot of y'all gonna die from famine. All right, right now we in red and terminal market. All these people are eating. All their storehouses, all of this is gonna be coming to naught. They ain't gonna be eating, all right? Because that's gonna be a form of judgment. A lot of people gonna die from being starved out, all right? There's a coming famine coming to the planet Earth, all right? It goes on, it says, uh, uh, in other, in the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And that's Esau, the so-called white man is the sword, referring back to Genesis. I'm gonna go to it. Genesis. Look, Genesis uh, to, uh, 27, and uh, I'm gonna start and read uh, 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. So-called white man got the best places to live, best communities and all of that. They got the, the white picket fence and all that, and Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans living shit. All right, or right, if you do live in good places, you you, you basically done sold out. All right, because you know those have are rich right now, uh, have received their consolation. All right, you know, going on it says, "Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above, and by thy sword shalt thou live." and shall serve thy brother. So the, the so-called white man is the, the sword, meaning the military might, all right? He's out there to kill you Negroes out there that, you know, y'all on that black live stuff, which y'all not even black. We come from various shades of brown, all right? So you need to cut that out, all right? Because remember, we come from the earth, going back, refer, referring back to Genesis uh, 2 and 7. It reads, and the Lord power for men of the dust of the ground and breathe, breathe into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul so the most high yahweh gave put his soul into us all right and that's going into creation all right good all right because without the soul the body is dead all right now i'm gonna continue on to this uh you know this last day stuff all right it says um it says uh so lock it one second and the dead shall be cast out as dumb, and there shall be no man to confront, com comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. So this whole, everything you see here, America is going to be destroyed, all right? Thus said the scriptures, all right? It's going to be amazing. The whole earth is going to be bloody. It's going to be destroyed, all right? We're going to get a re we gonna get a restart. And, you know, we're going to be ruling. And Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are next up. All right, so it goes on, it says, uh, there shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The trees shall give fruit, and who shall gather them? The grapes shall ripen, and who shall tread them? Tread them? For all the places shall be desolate of men. All right, when this is all, this coming destruction comes, this place is gonna be destroyed, obliterated, all right? Thus said the scriptures. We brought it out of the scriptures, you know? Um, you know, and I mean, with that, I'm just going, I'm going I'm to I'm actually probably, you know, not go on too long. But, you know, it says here, it says in uh, 2nd Edris, uh 16 and 35, Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Behold, the word of the Lord, receive it, believe not of the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. So these 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 plagues that's coming the the, the, the uh, destroy planet Earth is coming. All right. And with that, I'm gonna say Shalom, peace, Akim, and stay up. You know, don't slack. Stay in the prophecies and all of that. And we almost out of here. All right, Shalom.